Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to share with you how to use ceramic paint with the no bake method. You can make super cute projects like this mug here and many others. So sit back, relax, and enjoy learning about ceramic paint. Let's get started making this really fun ceramic paint project. So I grabbed a few ceramic dishes from the Dollar Tree, of course, absolutely love that place for craft supplies. And of course they all came with these lovely sticky stickers on the back and I just used my heat gun to loosen up the gummy part and peel off the stickers on all three of these ceramic pieces. And I'm loving this sage green color that they came in. So I'm using these stencils from a maker studio and I'll link them below. And I chose to go with this really kind of a greenery floral look. Um, you just kind of want to lightly tap it down and I'm going to use a little bit of paint tape to just cover up the parts I don't want to get any paint on uh, so that they are separate. Now this is a no-bake ceramic paint. I absolutely love this because it's one and done. You apply one simple coat and you do not have to bake this paint at all. Once you tear off the stencil, you'll be left with this beautiful design and then I immediately wash these stencils with just some water that I have on hand so that I can use them again. Now I definitely know that sometimes the stencil goes beyond the lines and so I take a little bit of this I can't say that isopropyl alcohol and an artist brush and just kind of clean up all of those little edges that maybe the paint slipped underneath. Now the lighter the layer you can put on to your stencil, the cleaner the reveal will be. But you know, I'm a little heavy handed, so I have paint pretty much everywhere. And again, this alcohol method of removing it is so simple. And I love the detail that you can get with this artist brush. I repeated the pattern on several sides of this little bowl that came from the Dollar Tree. And, um, just kind of eyeballed where I would place the next little leaf and I cleaned my stencil in between each application. This turned out so cute. I'm in love with the way that these greenery leaves show up on this bowl. Super fancy. Now, this just has to dry for a little bit and it'll be ready to go. No baking needed with this no bake ceramic paint, which of course I said I will link below. Now we're getting to the platter or the plate, and this is just a plate from the Dollar Tree. I chose this really cute family blessings stencil from, again, a maker studio, and I am putting it in the center of the plate, but I got a little nervous at the last minute and wasn't sure if it was gonna be centered. So I just took a ruler, the ruler is also from Dollar Tree, and just measured it to make sure it was pretty centered. And that's the great thing about these stencils, you can pick them up and place them back down however often you need to. Now, again, I'm using that white ceramic no-bake paint uh, from a maker studio, and I'm trying to apply a single uh, stroke or so on each piece of the stencil. But again, I'm a little heavy-handed, and I like to make sure that I have it in all of the grooves of the open part of the stencil. Now, hopefully you can do this in one swipe and you don't have to um, go over and over and over it and that will give you the best results. I was pretty happy with this, but there were some sp spots that I wanted to make sure and clean up. I, You can see down below in the bottom corner, I'm cleaning the stencil first because it's pretty important that you clean it from this ceramic paint immediately. It's not like the chalk paste. It will adhere to your stencil if you don't clean it pretty quickly after you use it. Now, I went ahead and put it on a little um, Lazy Susan here that I got from the Target Dollar Spot and I'm using again the rubbing alcohol with the artist brush to kind of clean up any little areas that I felt like the paint had bled through the stencil so that I'll have a really pretty crisp design when it is all said and done. I absolutely love this family blessings and I like how that little, it's not a flirtily, it's a little like, I guess it's a greenery leaf in the center there it matches the bowl greenery leaves so i'm going to attach these two things together and kind of make a cookie or cake platter i absolutely love doing this the combination of using this e6000 like a really thin bead of e6000 first 
with followed by the hot glue gun. A generous layer will actually help it adhere wonderful. Now let this set with a stack of books on top overnight. Trust me, you wanna let it finish drying. Now for the second project, I'm grabbing this little stencil called Oh So Blessed. I thought it was adorable and I'm placing it on this Dollar Tree ceramic mug. I was a little picky about how it went on there and I was really not sure which side to put it on. So um, with a little help from my friends, we decided to put it on this side and I'm applying that small thin layer of the white ceramic no-bake paint onto the stencil and then we're going to reveal it for a beautiful, beautiful outcome. I love these two projects. I think they turned out super adorable. I have an entire blog post with step-by-step -step details and links to order all of the supplies to do this yourself at home if you want to over on the blog, which I will link below. I think these are the perfect gifts or the perfect gifts for moi. <laughs> I love having these for myself too. Oh my goodness, were you super inspired to go run, click the link, and grab yourself some supplies to make your own amazing ceramic paint decor? I know I can't wait to get started on making many, many more projects with these supplies. So listen, if you love this, consider subscribing to my channel and going ahead and watching the next fun video. I appreciate you. Bye.